Hey everybody, today on Bearded Outdoors I want to go over the navigation light GoPro mount that I made for my boat. It plugs into the 12 volt battery system. It cost me less than $37 to make. This is what it looks like. It is your handlebar mount for a GoPro, a 40 inch to 72 inch telescoping navigational light pole, and a 12 volt to 5 volt USB inverter. This plugs right into the GoPro and then you can run it all day long off your battery. The only thing you got to worry about is filling up your SD card and if you have two or three of those you'll be able to record all day no problems. I've used this several times out on the river or lakes and the footage is great. I'm going to show some samples of that and I'm going to show some closer footage of this, explain how I made it, and go over each part. And I'll put you, put in the description below each of the parts that I ordered from Amazon. So you can go check those out and buy them if you need to. All right, so what I have here is a GoPro mounted to a normal handlebar mount, which if most people have a GoPro, they probably have bought GoPro accessories or the cheaper knockoff varieties. So you probably already have a handlebar mount in your arsenal so uh, if you don't you can get them for less than 10 bucks i decided to leave the actual light on the pole so i just unplugged the bulb when i don't need it to be a nav light and if i were to use it as a nav light i could just put the bulb back in uh, go on my way and then when i don't need it as a nav light anymore just pop the bulb out again but i attached the handlebar mount directly to the pole you can unscrew this and extend it from 40 inches all the way to 72 inches. It is your normal two prong stern light or nav light connection, which most boats should already have. If you don't have it, again, you can get one of those for less than 10 bucks as well. And then the other main piece is the USB inverter, which goes from 12 volts to 5 volts. So you can see here, this is the biggest component of the inverter, which is the reason I bought this one. There are dual uh, USB inverters out there with multiple uh, USB plugs on it. If you needed to charge a phone and plug in your GoPro, etc. So it's just the micro USB. So I could charge my phone with this if I needed to. And what I did was drill a tiny hole into the pole right here underneath this tape. Pull out these wires for the actual bulb and feed my line of the USB inverter into the hole and up to these wires of the actual light. And then there I spliced in and then sealed them with some heat shrink. And I put some tape here just to give it some extra protection for pulling around like this so it doesn't tear. I will probably put something a little bit more durable on here in the future, as well as trim the excess of this cable down. But right now I kind of like it being a little longer so I can use it for multiple things if necessary. So this took me about five minutes to put together. The pole itself, which telescopes from 40 inches to 72 inches, was $26, and the USB inverter was $10.85. So for less than 37 bucks, I have a fully functional extending nav light pole to power my GoPro all day. There is a commercial product out there by Yolo Tech, which is called the Aqua Stick, and they have the Aqua Stick Power. Currently, that is on sale, and it's one hundred and ten dollars. The going price for that, or the normal price for that, is one hundred and seventy dollars. So I built this for significantly less. So if you're a do-it-yourselfer or on a budget, this is definitely a viable option. And I'm going to show you right now some of the footage that I've had so you can see what it looks like from the boat. But with this being on 
the handlebar mount with the little ball joint here. You can rotate all to all your different angles that you need and you can extend this up six feet high if you really want to get a good bird's eye view of your boat. If you have any questions go ahead and leave those in the comments below and uh, I'll do my best to, to answer those. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward build, uh, easy to do and if you don't want to spring for the Yellow Tech Aqua Stick Power then try this out and uh, it'll also double as an Avlite if you leave it as is. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video if you found it helpful at all, please subscribe.